I'm, I'm looking at Jimmy Jones over there. But well, what's the first thing that they say? Established civil right that's been on the books for 50 years and is now being threatened to take away. So why do you personally stand up for this cause? Uh, I personally stand up for this cause because I have known people who have had horrible pregnancies, abortions. I had two really difficult birth experiences and was told by a doctor that if I tried to have to give birth again I might die. And I think that I fight for the right for women to choose not to have an abortion just as hard as I fight for the right for women to choose an abortion. It's all about having the choice. And I don't think that the government's place is inside of our reproductive organs. It's kind of based on this, but what would your message you want to get across to people about this cause and about what's going on in America? I think my biggest message is that there's nuance in the world, that the world is not black and white, and you can never know a person's full experience. So legislating as if the world is black and white is always really dangerous. Uh, you need to know that that person can be trusted to make the best decisions for themselves with their doctor, with medical advice, but it's not the government's place to say, this is always the way it's gonna be and you have to do everything exactly the way we say. So the, uh, the leak, that was huge. What was your first reaction? <laughs> um, no, it's a lot, it's a lot, but. Yeah, no, I think, I think it was not exactly surprised because frankly, we've been headed in this direction for at least the last five years, if not longer. Um, but to see how Alito was so dismissive of the fundamental rights of people when he claims to be someone who believes in, in liberty, uh, it was pretty disgusting, the language that he used, and the fact that, like, 70-plus percent of people don't want Roe to be overturned, and yet this tiny group of people in charge can make this decision for everyone's bodies really disturbs me. Three more quick ones. Um, do you ever think in 2022 something like this would happen? I wouldn't have said that 10 years ago, but yes. Uh, five years ago, I, I'm, not, I'm sadly not surprised that we're here, but I'm, I'm still angry. So what's your message to lawmakers and community members about today and your future? That we're all people, we're all trying to make the decisions for ourselves that are best for us, and that our rights over our own bodies should not be infringed. One more. Will you keep rallying to stand for this? I right. think I know you will. Tell, <laughs> tell me personally why. You got, you got the kids out here. You got yeah. The <laughs> can I? Well, hey, want, yeah, yeah go for it. Can, break up, break can, up a little can you hear me at all? All right. Check one more <laughs> all right well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm inspired by all the people out today. I wasn't sure if there were going to be five people or 30 people, but it's, it's looking like 100 or maybe 200 plus. And um, I just think now is a really important time for, for men also to stand up and um, finding ways that we as men can, can stand up because it's not just, it's not just an issue that affects women. It affects women's bodies, but it's... Um, it's a human issue, and if, and if the government can get away with this, then what's next? And so we've all got to stand up. Anybody else want to say anything at all? Our body, our choices. All That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. Say hi, buddy. Okay, thanks everyone.
universal health care. They wouldn't be fighting so hard against the welfare.